AJ, mega year, mate, in the three series. Um, new car, you were very involved in it. How involved were you in the build of it? 23rd of December, I went down um, to see Dick there and, and see the first shell. And, and I, I couldn't go there and not get a seat in it and sit in it. And as you know, Dick Bennett goes into detail. So we were doing um, seat position to the B post here with blocks of wood and we were shimming it up with different blocks of wood. So I actually got a picture of me sat in it. You know, I get excited by stuff like that. And if I didn't, I wouldn't bother doing it because um, to be involved with a, a new project with West Surrey and BMW from the start is something uh, quite special. But then the more technical stuff I leave to the engineers. They know a lot more than I do. You'd been with West Surrey before. You'd driven the one series, um, great car, yep. but the three series was a, was a different car. It seemed to put you into just another, another level. Yeah. Why was that? Was it your driving style? I think what really helped certainly kickstart the season and, and pre-season testing was it was a new car and, and I drive so many different things all the time. You know, um, and, and, and the weeks leading up to like that first test, I was driving race cars at different circuits three or four times a week. And so I was able just to jump in Go, yeah, and, and didn't really pay attention to the fact it was a new car, just grab it by the scruff of the neck and, and drive it and drive it fast. And I was looking at the times we were doing, and obviously you keep that to yourself when you're testing, just because you don't want to look like you've been cocky or whatever, but I, we were going quick. Like the first eight brands, I, I saw the times we were doing on used tyres, and I thought, we've got something really strong here. Very important, isn't it, to have a partnership between you and an engineer that's strong. One, how strong was that partnership? And how important is it to have the trust of the whole team behind you? Because it changed, didn't it, from last year or the year before? Yeah, I, you know, John Waterman has wor worked with so many different drivers as a, as a race engineer. And um, I think like any working relationship or any relationship in general, it takes a bit of time. Last year, though, it really clicked that I could, I felt confident enough that if I wanted something, I would say, no, I, this is why I think this. And we could disagree. And, and John can be quite a a stern, dour guy at times, but we had this relationship that he knew what I wanted and, and vice versa, and um, we worked really, really well together. It was a real stipulation for me in, in contract negotiations was that the car crew had to stay the same. I didn't want new people coming in. I didn't want to have to learn people and how they worked. I wanted it to stay the same because I think we were the strongest team last year in terms of my car crew. In, out of the whole championship, I think we were the, the strongest unit over the season. And so uh, I didn't want that changing, and, and it hasn't, and it will be even more successful this year, I think. Donington Park, probably not the best weekend in the world. You know what's coming. You had that big accident, and you sat on the sidelines, watched Colin Turkins and your teammate win two races, have a good weekend. How do you cope? What do you do? What do you think? After coming off winning at round one, I thought, this is it. Like, we can beat Colin. You know, that, that was all I was thinking after the first round. Then you have a setback like Donington. So many people have said after, oh, you'd have won the championship if that hadn't happened. Uh, I don't look at it like that because I didn't win the championship and um, that's how it is. I started two races less than everyone else, but that, that's racing, that's, that's the way it goes. I'm not bitter about it. I see a sports psychologist that I've seen for, or well, since 2007. And um, some people have views on sports psychologists that it means you're, you're weak. I think that's a load of crap, to be quite honest, because, you know, you train physically, you do every every other bit, you test the car. Um, you need to make sure you're right here. And it, it isn't, you know, you don't go there and they tell you you're going to win every race in the championship, but it isn't like that. It, it's about how you go through the process and, and what the best way is and how you deal. A lot of it's how you deal with the bad weekends, because, you know, you know, in, in British touring cars, there's a lot of up and down weekends. And you know you can have a good race one, bad race two, and it's all up and down, so it's how you deal with that and, and how you don't worry about that. So um, those two races at Thruxton were probably, or some of the most satisfying wins I've had, just because of what it was coming off the back of. Probably one of the biggest weekends of your racing career. What was going through your mind, mate? Ups and downs? Yeah, uh, ups and downs. I enjoyed it. Uh, I really enjoyed the whole, you know, when I think back to how I felt before I won it in 2013 and how I felt before the finale in 2019 was just night and day difference. It, it was just a normal race weekend to me and, and I enjoyed it. I went into that weekend thinking we'd win the championship and um, so I was obviously disappointed not to. Um, but I think we, I think I put up a good fight and, and that last race was, was really cool. When I crossed the line, I didn't know if I'd won it or not because I, I was in fifth, I saw Dan was out and so did the probably biggest lunge I've ever done into paddock and got fourth starting the last lap. So then you're driving the whole of the last lap, not knowing if that's for the championship or not. And um, 
yeah, when I crossed the line, I could see the way they were celebrating on the wall. I thought, no, I haven't won that because they'd have been going a bit more mental if if um, if it was me. So, uh, yeah, I, I was disappointed, but I still I said before the weekend that winning it wouldn't define my season, and um, there was part of me that wanted to go home. And my family said, no, you need to stay with the team like you planned and celebrate a good year, celebrate winning more races than anyone. I feel it was the best year I've had since I won the championship, really. And um, yeah, I feel it's good momentum. And um, yeah, but I, won't, I won't lose it by two points again. I really think with how this has all worked out for 2020 with me being, you know, properly with Team BMW, I'm in a cool, lucky position. You know, uh, there's not many people in that position. and. Um, so I just want to enjoy it, I want to make the most out of it and uh, I'll win some races, I'll get some podiums and um, have some fun along the way. That, that's what I really focused on last year was just having some fun and making it a fun environment with the team and just having some fun. And uh, I think we'll be, uh, yeah, I think we can do it. Come end of the year, we'll be challenging for it, that's for sure. Top man. Have a good one. Thank you very much.